Hello everyone, today's book review is going to be Astoria by Peter Stark. The founding of Astoria, Oregon. We all know the story of Lewis and Clark as they made the dangerous trek towards the west coast of America known as the Pacific Northwest. Do you know about the Astoria expedition now, or the soon-to-be-famous Astoria fur trading empire? I thought not. It's not talked about as much as the as much as Lewis and Clark, because they hold the spotlight for the West's exploration. But how did the pioneers make it to Oregon in the first place? They had to have known a route or something. That's where Astoria comes in. This was all made possible by a young German immigrant named John Jacob Astor, who was soon to be known as America's first multi-millionaire businessman. Astor's enterprise didn't begin fruitation overnight. It took tons of preparation risk and finances, all of which Mr. Astor accounted for. The two parties, the Overland Party, going west through the Rocky Mountains to the proposed settlement of Astoria, while the ship the Tonkin, which was the seagoing party, would sail around present-day Florida and Cape Horn and go straight up the coast to Astoria to resupply the overland party with men, material, and so on and so forth. Sounds like a smooth plan, right? Well, there are many tragedies along the way. Death and misery plagued both parties. As Hunt, who was the commander or the leader, I should say, of the overland party, and Captain Thorne, who was the captain of the Tonkin, saw all too often. America wasn't the bustling paradise we know today, teeming with wildlife and hostile tribes like the Blackfeet. Changes had to be made in order for the parties to be successful. Change that proved much needed and change that proved to be a horrible, horrible mistake. Who would enjoy reading this book? This book requires some knowledge about America's western expansion. The Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition, so on and so forth. Though this book brings you up to speed, if you're not as much of a historian as I am. Young adults and up would enjoy the attention to detail and maps hand-printed to provide more context to the travels Hunt and Captain Thorne embark on. Young children may have difficulty reading his book on their own, so I would suggest the parent read along with them, since there are parts of the book that may need further explanation to a child who may not be too familiar with the terminology that is used in this well-written book. For example, scalping which actually tells you what it is, but children may want to know what, what, like, why did they do it, and, you know, all that stuff. So my final impressions. I always enjoy learning more about our nation's history, as I am a nationalist. I'm proud of it. And the untold stories that sometimes become silenced by more prominent historical events. Lewis and Clark's expedition as a common example. Because before this book, I never even knew about the Astoria expedition. Never, never heard about it in class. Even when I took college level, uh, the few college level courses that I took in American history, never touched on this subject at all. This book was very enjoyable, and I thoroughly enjoyed learning more about Astoria, Oregon, which was more amusing as I was just there last week and 
Last week, I embarked on a very awesome adventure, surfing, which can be found right here, and a blog post that I also recently finished up about the event more in detail right here, if you would like to look at those two. Any of you? My final rating of Astoria by Peter Stark is a 10 out of 10. Perfection. A must own on my scale. Now, I may be biased because I'm a history buff, but you know, the attention to detail, the hand printed maps, you rarely see that nowadays. You rarely see a person taking their time to hand print a map. That, my, that itself is cool. And they have awesome pictures in it as well. Historical documentation. Basically full length journal entries. It's awesome. You gotta buy it. Now going back into this century. As I said before. The great attention to detail. With a dedication. To the truth about the Astoria expedition help make this book extremely hard to put down I was reading this book for a solid week I couldn't put it down even when I was reading up on my textbook from my online art class I found myself constantly coming back into this book constantly as you traverse through America's landscape by sea and by foot, you become one of the historians. You become one of those that have to make a life or death decision. You cross this river, either you die, or you get across the other side, or you go through long stretches of time being scared for your life, de de developing post-traumatic stress disorder because you're so scared of the hostile natives that could come out at any moment and slaughter you and sc scalp you or leave you for dead or take all your uh, uh, possessions and then leave you stark naked in a forest this book makes you think that these people went through all of this just to found a settlement that's dedication All right. Below in the description, please find various resources about some interesting history that I presented in this book review, as well as stuff that is found you know, online about certain people that I felt would be a benefit for others who don't know a lot of this his historical, you know, do do documentation as I do. I provide that to you for free so that you can learn more about the story of Oregon and the people that made it a success. And that's where it is now on the map of the United States of America. As always, you can find uh, where to also purchase this book as well in the description below. Thank you for watching.